Hey guys, it's heyteacherraf at gmail.com. Email me, I'll help you on your journey. Or click subscribe and you'll hear more tidbits just like this one. So I wanted to discuss the company that I currently work for. Um, I work as a consultant for VIP Kid, and so that means that I teach and I can also recruit. And there's a variety of things that you can do for this company, but I'm not going to go into that right now. I wanted to tell you today uh, a little bit about this company. It's been around for probably around six years, I want to say, and uh, it's had some serious invest. Uh, Tencent, Sequoia, and another company, I don't think I can pronounce it correctly, spelled C-O-A-T-U-E. Uh, also, Kobe Bryant invested $100 million in VIP Kid, which I don't think many people realize. Uh, the late great basketball player, Academy Award winner, uh, investor, entrepreneur, writer, creator. He was he was a he was a really uh, inspirational figure, you know. After he got out of basketball, he continued to be an inspirational figure in different fields. Uh, just to give you an example, I don't know if you guys knew about this. But um, Bryant Stiebel, it's an investment firm. So it's Kobe Bryant and his partner. They opened up an investment firm. And so they sourced $100 million to VIP Kid, which was a great blessing because that created thousands of jobs. You know, when VIP Kid first started, there were only probably less than 100 employees less than 100 teachers. And then slowly as it progressed uh, in its first few years, it grew really slowly, you know, maybe to about 3,000 teachers in the beginning of 2017. Uh, so by February of 2017, it uh, eclipsed 3,000 teachers. Uh, then in 2018, it went up to 40,000. And then at, by the end of 2018, it was at 60,000 teachers. Now, in 2020, February of 2020, it has surpassed 100,000 teachers. Um, it has surpassed 800,000 clients, meaning children between the ages of 4 and 14 are using the platform online to learn how to speak, uh, read, learn English, right? So it's, it's, uh, it's a, an amazing company. Um, I think it's the largest online English teaching platform in the world. Uh, which brings me to the, my uh, next point. How much do parents spend on each lesson? Well, according to a Reddit article published in 2019, just last year, not many months ago, Parents were spending anywhere between 138 RMB, I don't know if you can see that, which calculates to about $20 US, to 193 RMB, I believe it was, something like that, which calculates to roughly about $27. So what does that mean? That parents are spending 20 to 27 dollars per lesson for their child to learn English and one lesson lasts 25 minutes 30 minutes max but really the cutoff is 25 minutes so each teacher is not getting paid 20 dollars for that 25 minute class uh, they're getting paid uh, a base amount which ranges from it starts at about seven eighty seven dollars and eighty cents plus bonuses depending on how many classes a teacher teaches for the month so if a teacher teaches let's say 80 classes then they get a bonus for those 80 if they exceed 80 they get a bigger bonus for the next phase of chunk of classes whatever that is 80 classes another 80 or 100 and if they keep going up and up and up uh, in their numbers, 
and they exceed a certain number for the month, then they get even a bigger bonus. Does that make sense? So it's a kind of like a compounding bonus. I don't want to get into that because it, it's just very detailed and it's just going to confuse you. All you need to know is that with the bonuses, um, you're going to be making at least $16 or more. Now, when I say $16, that's per hour, right? So a 25 minute class, if you're gonna start at the lowest rung on the ladder, $7.80, let's say, plus bonuses for 25 minutes for two classes equaling an hour, that's already, you know, shy of $15, just the base rate plus bonuses. So you're gonna be making at least 16 or more dollars an hour, usually, the average is really like 1950 to 22 23 dollars an hour plus you get bonuses for trials meaning parents get so many free classes like parents get about three free classes but if a parent refers another parent then the parent gets like 10 free classes uh, as far as i know according to this reddit article um so that's really that's a really great thing. So if you really look at it, if parents are being charged 20 to $27 per, let's say, class, and teachers are being paid, let's say, $9 to $10 per class, so that means that half of the money coming in is profit. Well, generally speaking, of course, that's not the truth because that other chunk, that other 50% goes toward other overhead. So um, it's it's a viable uh, calculation in a way, charging the parents twice as much as the teachers are making. Um, so they were recently looking for additional funding and they did receive it from Tencent. So it looks like this company is uh, still pretty healthy. Uh, now, of course, you have to have a bachelor's degree, but if you have uh, more experience. Let's say you're a brick and mortar teacher, meaning that your traditional educator at a public school or a charter school, uh, that gives you uh, a leg up, meaning that they take that into consideration and give you a higher base rate. It's, it might not be much, you know, it might be 50 cents or a dollar, dollar fifty. I don't know. I don't make those decisions, but you understand. So if you have more experience or let's say you have a master's degree, uh, that also counts in your favor, uh, base pay uh, wise. And then they do have raises. Now, I don't know what they're going to go forward with in terms of raises, because in the past, every year, you could be qualified for a 50 cent raise, which is significant. 50 cents per class. So that's quite significant because it equals a dollar per hour. You know, that's a significant raise. Um, you know, if you're teaching 200 classes a month, that's a $200 per month raise. You see what I'm saying? This is generally speaking, but just to give you a, an idea, uh, there are other companies, of course, uh, that are competitors with VIP Kid that also teach English to Chinese students or other students uh, across the world on an online platform. Uh, I'm not going to go into a list of all of those companies. Uh, there's a, there's quite a list actually, and it's grown in the last few years. Um, and some of these companies are very large and some of them are a lot smaller, a lot quieter. You won't hear about them. They don't really advertise much. You might hear about them from word of mouth, uh, from other teachers. Uh, and some of those companies pay a lot more, except you're not teaching very many classes. You're teaching a very minimum amount of classes. And I'm talking, when I say minimum, I mean like one, two, three, maybe four classes a, a week, if you're lucky. So it's very, very part-time, right? These, uh, some of these other companies, but they pay a lot more. Well, so, you know, it, it doesn't really make sense unless you're only wanting to teach like two classes a week. But if you can juggle it and everything, and some of these other companies, they have uh, very strict scheduling, meaning that if you sign up to teach a class, let's say Thursday night or Wednesday afternoon or whatever it is, then you're going to have to keep that schedule for a year. Now, with VIP Kid, that's not the case. Your schedule is very flexible. You can close classes and open classes as readily as you'd like, 
Now, of course, um, they would like you to not close uh, a booked class because then uh, there could be a financial ramification or if it's not a financial ramification like um, like a warning or something you know and you don't want to get like seven warnings because then they might think well this person isn't you know consistent or responsible they keep um, delaying or they keep uh, they keep um, canceling classes and that affects the parents and that affects scheduling for other people not just yourself you know what I mean as a teacher so uh, you don't want to get too many of those, but I'm just saying that that is an option for you. If you get into a bind, you're able to cancel a class. If you're ill, death in the family, you know, and certain things like that, certain criteria are forgivable, meaning that they don't count against you. You know what I mean? Um, death in the family, obviously, you know, if you have a doctor's appointment, you know, you get a little letter from your doctor or whatever, a printout that you were at the doctor's office this day, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. I've, I've asked my dentist before for something like that. I've also asked like a clinic because I had like a bee sting, right? right so I go to a clinic uh, you know whatever get the medicine or whatever I need to get they give me a little printout I you know take a photo of that on my phone I upload it I send it to them and I say hey you know this is why I canceled the class okay we're you know it's forgivable no big deal it doesn't it's like it's not like a strike that counts against your record you know so because you don't want to have like seven of those if it's not something that's forgivable if you're just like well you know I couldn't get online because whatever I was stuck in traffic you know yeah I mean we we forgive you but you know that's not a serious issue you know what I mean as far as they're concerned so just to give you a heads up VIP kid is very flexible when it comes to schedule you're making your schedule you're opening up time uh, times that you want to open up you're closing times that you don't want to uh, have open but also if you have closed times and there are uh, students or parents that want to book you and you accept it depending on the season of the year some some seasons or times during the year are really busy and some aren't what that means is if it's like a really busy season they want as many parents to book as possible so they will give you an incentive so if you have closed slots and a bunch of parents want to book you for those slots Sometimes you get an incentive like a $2 two dollar or two fifty um, additional incentive on top of your wage just to open that slot and teach that class. So that's really neat. And also, like I said earlier, if you teach a trial, and at the end, the trial uh, parent um, signs up with a VIP kid to extend the lessons, you get a five dollar signing bonus for every student. So that's kind of neat because I'll tell you what, in uh, 2018, in September, I had 19 of those in one month. So yeah, it's not that much money, but 19 multiplied by five, you know, it adds up. It's a nice little, it's, you know, it's a couple lunches here and there, you know what I mean? So it's kind of nice. So what I'm saying is um, it's a really great wage and I would not worry about the whole like new pay scale thing just because it sounds confusing and complicated and kind of, you know, blah, blah, blah all over. Don't even worry about it. it it's going to translate into the same amount. You know, you're going to be making minimum 16, probably more, you know, just depends on how many classes you get booked and stuff like that. And if you want to get a bunch of classes booked, you know, my advice is always um, open as many slots as you can. Uh, because it creates some type of momentum in their system. I don't know. I don't work on their in their IT department. I don't work on their system, but that's what I've noticed from my own experience. So that's just one of the techniques to try to get more bookings. There are other techniques, of course. I'm not going to get into all of those right now. It'll take too much time, but I wanted to just give you a heads up. And uh, hey, if you would like more information, just email me at heyteacherraf at gmail.com or you can click and subscribe and you'll hear more tidbits just like this. Thanks. Take care. God bless.